Okay, what's happening in our in our field in education? We have good news and some not so good news. Uh, in the first place, and I think that it's really important, there is a relevant increase in the number of students that enter the educational system and complete uh, the, uh, the, the at least the high school level. So that's a really big news. There have been like a jump in the past 10 years. There have been a lot of programs, a lot of interest, uh, focus on, on getting this population to participate in education and stay in track. And this is showing now. So we have this is a really a, a good number. The only difference is that we have still a lower graduation rate from high school. If we compare with the just national average, which is 85, Hispanics are 80% uh, of, of completion, and in the 85%, the higher rates go to Anglo white people or also uh, Asian, Asian populations. Uh, they want to have like 90, 95% of, uh, of rate of graduation from high school. Also, the good news translate to college level. We have more Hispanics entering the, uh, the college level. And I think that the last number is, is really interesting, that 30% uh, of young Hispanic between uh, 24 years old and 30 years old have at least an associate degree. So there is an interesting number. We have more educated people, more access to uh, college, which is fantastic. However, the graduation rate, again, is 14 points below the national average. So those are the two areas where we should keep working and keep focus on. And I think that for someone, for a student to be able to even consider going to college, the conversation has to start in, uh, I don't know, kinder, <laughs> maybe. But it has to be in all levels. It has to be something that is in their mind. They're thinking about it. It doesn't matter if they're in the first grade. The idea of going to college has to be there. I mean, your goal is to graduate from college. And I think that we need to keep this conversation going with our students and with their families.